going up, going down to breakfast, gonna ride down into Bennington. Night time. Well, early morning. All right, let's attach my cam and see how this goes. Got my little hand warmers on here. Wow, wind protectors. They work good, it's about 40 degrees. So it's not super cold. Let's see how this goes. think because this turn folding bike's got 20 inch wheels that it can't be fast but it definitely cruises along really nice I do have skinnier racier slick tires on it that's a big help the new wheels I upgraded to but the seal bearings are way smoother than the stock wheels I had on, which were great. It, they were just well over a decade old. So these feel nicer and freer, and seem to roll freer. And of course, I got the new gearing. To make up for the tiny wheels, they just put much bigger chain rings on it, so your gearing's much higher to compensate for the less rolling resistance that I that the smaller wheels can give you. 
Garages are garages. You get the same numbers. You go to the same speeds. I've been on road bike tours with this folding bike here. They catch up to guys on road bikes and they look at you like, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> That's always fun. I'd say the disadvantage to the little 20 inch wheels would be when you're coasting down a hill and you have to go sprint up another hill right after. These won't run out as well. So you'll have to start pedaling and cranking up the other hill a little earlier. Flats, downhills because of the gearing. Pretty, pretty similar. If it wasn't close enough, I wouldn't be riding it because I'm that kind of a dickhead. But, uh, Worked at a bike shop, I've gotten to ride all sorts of cool little different types of things and bikes. And I learned there's a purpose for all of them. mile an hour road and uh, so I gotta be doing near 20 miles an hour. I don't have any speedometer, I don't use Strava. I used to use Strava and Garmin Connect and cycling computers, I still have them all. I stopped using them is because I just wanted to enjoy my ride. I didn't want to have to keep thinking about the numbers. It took a lot of the fun of cycling away from me. And when Strava became really popular, our group rides changed because it became more about individual stats versus riding in a group. So I know nowadays, People ride on swim trainers and do a lot of numbers oriented chasing the watts. I get it. Great, great, great training aids. But when people were more worried about the Strava segment versus riding in a group, learning how to ride in a group. Yeah, it was, uh, it definitely changed how group rides were ridden. I feel some of the socialness was taken away, at least the group that I was with. But I, uh, you cannot deny with how the speeds of modern cyclists have gone up for that those numbers are beneficial, but just not for me. It's not something that I am interested in anymore. I do have a smartwatch. I'm not wearing it. I do have a Garmin head unit. 
and on occasion, I turn them on just to see how fast I can fly down the mountain and capture my top speeds. So it's uh, still got an entertainment factor to me every once in a while. Down to my favorite breakfast spot. Somebody tell me I'm riding unsafe. And I'm okay with that. Sunnyside and Bennington. This for a good breakfast. Turn my flasher off. Headlamp. Multiple hats. Good morning. Good morning.